Hello, everyone, and welcome to COM 121, Introduction to Mass Media. This is Professor Harris here today, and I'm going to talk about how to set up your Adobe account and how that's different from Adobe Express and the Adobe Creative Cloud. So we're going to start by accessing Adobe Express and creating an Adobe account, the same Adobe account you'll use later to purchase Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, you don't have to purchase it again. We have it available in the labs if you decide to do it that way. Um, but I, this video is just going to be about um, setting up your account and accessing Adobe Express for the first project. So Adobe Express works with only a few browsers. Google Chrome and Safari are two of those browsers that work. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to launch Safari. But if you have a PC or if you just prefer Google Chrome, you can use that as well. So we're going to come up here into the search bar of our web browser. And we're just going to type Adobe Express. And hit enter. The very first link on the top is the one you want to access. If you don't have an account up here on the right, it's going to say sign up or sign in. Um, you go ahead and hit sign up. I'm already logged in, so I'm going to sign out so that you can see what that looks like. So we'll hit okay. If you don't have an account already, you're going to come up to the right here where it says sign up. You go ahead and click sign up. It's going to take you to this page. And you can decide how you want to continue. You could use a Facebook account. I would personally prefer that you hit continue with email and then you sign up using your university email. That's going to be the easiest thing. For myself, I have a Gmail account. I pay for this independently outside of the university. So I'm going to type in my account now while you sit there and awkwardly wait for me to finish. All right. Then I put my password in. Close your eyes. All right, I'll say not now. All right, so now it's gonna sign me into Adobe Express and this is gonna be my landing page. So now that you're on this landing page, what does it mean? If you look in the upper right, you're gonna see you have like this default picture, but essentially what we've just done is we've created a new Adobe account and we're accessing Adobe Express. Again, the program that we're gonna use for the first four weeks of this semester. So you can create new projects by hitting this plus button, and it's essentially from this point that you can start working on assignment one. Um, there's a video link uh, right on Canvas on the Canvas page where you can find the instructions on how to do that, and it should look very similar to this. Now, where does this differ from the Creative Cloud? Well, if you click this button here, it's gonna take you to the Creative Cloud, or additionally, if you sign on to your Canvas page, and then we go to course information. In the week one, we have uh, syllabus. So you would open your syllabus and you can scroll down from here. Give me a second. We're going to find where it says Adobe Software Rental, $19.99 a month. That's going to open a new tab here. And this is something you're going to do in week five of this class. We want to be able to have access to the Adobe programs come week six. So it'll take you to this page. It'll be like, pick a subscription to the Creative Cloud. We'll hit continue. And it's gonna ask to add Adobe stock. We don't need Adobe stock, so we'll say no thanks to that. And then it said we're gonna, it says we're gonna be billed monthly, well yearly, but billed monthly at $19.99. You'll put your credit card information in, and then you'll hit continue and confirm and whatever else you need to do. But you can see here on the right it says $19.99. Uh, with the back to school deal and or um, if you use your student information to sign up. Um, sweet. So that's the difference. And then once we've created our Adobe account, I'm going to go ahead and close this because um, I don't need it open. You can go on to, uh, you know, Adobe, you can search Adobe Creative Cloud uh, and you'll end up on this website. You'll sign in. And this is what mine looks like. So when we need to access programs like Photoshop and Illustrator, we can come over here on the left to the apps section. And once it loads the apps, we can see all the different Adobe programs we have access to that we can uh, download. Um, you could also download the Creative Cloud Launcher app. You don't need to do that. You can do that all directly in here. I'm not signed into my main account where I do own it because uh, these all say try or buy. If you're signed in and you've successfully purchased and you're signed into the correct account, um, these will all say download. And then again, for this class, just as a refresher for you, we're going to be using photo. If you want to download this now, you don't need to download this now, but come week six, 
um, you should have Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere Pro, and Audition downloaded onto your computer. Those are the programs that we're going to be working with off of the Creative Cloud. Again, if you don't want to work or you don't want to purchase the subscription, we have classrooms on campus, computer labs on campus, that have these programs already on the computers that you can use 100% free. Um, and those classrooms uh, are in Egan Hall. Those computer labs are in Egan Hall, rooms 103. That's the room I recommend most. It has the newest computers, and they work pretty well. Uh, or G6 in the basement of Egan, or G7 in the basement of Egan, also recommended. So there you go, students. Um, I hope that helps clarify some things. Again, I'll be making an announcement as, uh, announcements about this as things come up, but those are the major differences. Um, so again, you've got your Adobe Express. That's This is what we're going to use for the first four weeks, four assignments until week five, where you'll get a break week, no assignment. And with that break week, you can sign up for the Adobe Creative Cloud or get ready to go to the labs on campus to use the Adobe Creative Cloud. All right. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, literally any questions, feel free to comment on this video or shoot me an email at bharris, so it'll be bharris at franciscan.edu. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.